Let us now discuss the next model from percentages which is based on an election between two persons. These type of questions have been very frequently asked in the previous bank exams and it is quite easy to solve. Let us look at the first example. In an election between two candidates, the winner secured 58% of the total votes cast and wins by a majority of 2400 votes. How many votes did the loser get? So as the question says, the election was between two candidates and the winner has got 58% of the total votes. Now as discussed earlier, total can always be taken as 100%. So let us assume that the total votes cast is equivalent to 100%. And we know that the winner has secured 58% of the votes. So winner has secured 58% of the votes. Now the most important point here is that the election is between two candidates. So it is obvious that each of the votes will either go to the winner or the loser. Now since the winner has got 58% of the votes, it is very clear that the loser will be getting the remaining percent of votes. That is 100% total number of votes minus the winner's percentage which is equal to 42%. So 58% has been obtained by winner and remaining 42 has been obtained by the loser. The next part of the question says the person wins by a majority of 2400 votes. Now what is majority? It is nothing but the difference between the number of votes of the two persons. So we can say that majority is equal to the number of votes obtained by winner minus the number of votes obtained by loser. We very well know that winner has obtained 58% of the votes and the loser has got the remaining percentage that is 42%. So very clearly the majority here 58% minus 42% is equal to 16%. And as given in the question this 16% is equivalent to 2400. So we can say that 16% is as good as 2400 votes. And we are supposed to find out how many votes did the loser get. We very well know that loser has obtained 42% of the votes. So if 16% is equivalent to 2400, 42% will be equivalent to what? By cross multiplication, we get the required answer. So we can say that the answer here should be 42 into 2400 divided by 16. So this is 8 into 3, 8 into 2 and this goes 21 times. So 21 into 3 is 63 into 100, 6300. So we can say that the loser has got 6300 votes. Similarly, suppose the question says what were the total number of votes cast? So what do we do there? We know that 16% is 2400, total number of votes is 100%. So 100% 100 is equal to what? So as you can see here, again the question here is about one of the percentage equivalent is given and the other percentage equivalent has to be calculated. So this is how we can solve questions based on election by considering the total number of votes to be 100% and finding out the shares of the winner and the loser respectively. Let us now take the second example from the model that we have just discussed. The question here is in a college election between two students, 10% of the votes cast are invalid. The winner gets 70% of the valid votes and defeats the loser by 1800 votes. How many votes were totally cast? So as you can see here, the election is between two students. Let us assume that the total number of votes cast is equivalent to 100%. Now as given in the question, 10% of the votes cast are invalid. So very clearly, the invalid votes will be equal to 10%. Now from this we can say that the number of votes which were valid will be equal to total that is 100% minus the percentage of invalid votes which is 10%. So this comes out to be 90%. Now moving on to the next part of the question. The winner gets 70% of the valid votes. So the winner here will be getting 70% of valid votes which is equal to 90%. So now we can say that the winner has got 70% of 90%. And going by the concept of percentages of percentage that we have discussed earlier we know that 70% of 90% will be equal to 70 into 90 by 100% which comes out to be 63%. So the winner has got 63% of the votes. And now we can find out the number of votes obtained by the loser as the valid votes which is 90% minus the votes obtained by the winner which is equal to 
90% minus 63% that comes out to be 27% so very clearly the winner has got 63% of the votes loser has obtained 27% which the total comes out to be 90% and remaining 10% were invalid votes and the next part of the question is the winner defeats the loser by 1800 votes so as discussed in the previous example majority is nothing but the percentage of votes obtained by winner minus those obtained by loser so 63% minus 27% is equal to 36% and this 36% is equivalent to 1800 votes so we can say that 36% is same as 1800 and we are supposed to find out how many votes were totally cast we know that the total number of votes cast are 100% so 100% will be equal to what so again by cross multiplication we can find out the required answer so the total number of votes here will be equal to 100 into 1800 upon 36 which comes out to be 5000 votes so the total number of votes cast are 5000 similarly here instead of asking how many votes were totally cast the question could be what were the total number of valid votes we know that the total number of valid votes is equivalent to 90 percent so we can say that 36 percent is equivalent to 1800 90 percent will be equivalent to what and again by cross multiplication we can get the desired answer so friends this is how you solve these type of questions based on election simply by finding out what percentage equivalent has been given and what percentage equivalent has to be calculated and by cross multiplication we find out the required answer the only point that you need to be careful here is that because the valid votes are 90 percent and the question says winner gets 70 percent of the valid votes do not misunderstand that the loser has obtained remaining 20 percent 90 minus 70 20 should not be taken as the percentage of votes obtained by loser why because winner has got 70 percent of the valid votes not 70 percent of the total votes so we should take it as 70% of 90% but not 70% of 100%.